Russia threatened UK with strikes on British targets. The Russian Federation, in the event of the use of British-made missiles on the territory of our state, reserves the possibility of striking any British military installations, including those outside Ukraine. This was reported in the official statement of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Russian Federation, published on the department's website. Earlier, British Foreign Secretary David Cameron said that British-made missiles could be used to strike Russian territory. After this, the British ambassador, Nigel Casey, was summoned to the Russian Foreign Ministry. The Russian diplomatic department called on the UK authorities to think about what catastrophic consequences such actions could lead to. The ambassador was told that the Russian side views David Cameron's words as evidence of a serious escalation and confirmation of London's increasing involvement in military operations on the side of Kyiv, emphasized in the official statement of the Russian Foreign Ministry. Thus, Russia expresses its readiness to take radical retaliatory measures in the event of the use of British long-range missiles against Russian targets. It is time for the UK authorities to understand that such actions on the part of London will lead to the risk of a major escalation in Europe, including a direct military conflict between Russia and the countries of the North Atlantic Alliance. The use of weapons provided by Kyiv's Western allies to strike Russian territory has been called as a major red line for Russian President Vladimir Putin that many analysts predict could lead to an escalation in Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine that began in February 2022. But while Ukraine's military has increasingly targeted military sites and refineries on Russian soil, Kyiv has maintained that it has thus far only used domestically produced drones and missiles for such strikes. Israel's Defense Force, IDF, has announced that it is currently engaging in attacks in Rafah. The IDF said it is conducting targeted strikes against Hamas in eastern Rafah. Due to the attacks carried out by Israel, aid depots caught fire and some aid trucks were damaged in the attack. The fire was later brought under control. The attack was carried out after Israel announced that it would start a ground operation in Rafah. Earlier, Israel called on Palestinians evacuate parts of eastern Rafah ahead of planned ground offensive in the southern Gaza city. According to the Israeli army radio, about 100,000 Palestinians lived in the area east of Rafah. The area that the Israeli army wants to be evacuated includes the Rafah border gate on the Egyptian border, which is the main entry point for humanitarian aid into Gaza and the only crossing point used by Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. Around 100,000 people are instructed to head for an expanded humanitarian area in Khan Yunus and Al Mawasi. U.S. President Joe Biden on Monday reiterated Washington's concerns about Rafah's invasion. In a conversation with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Biden said that a ceasefire with Hamas was the best way to protect the lives of Israeli hostages held in Gaza, a National Security Council spokesperson said on condition of anonymity. Israel has been threatening an assault on Rafah for months to go after Hamas in the area, but Monday's evacuation orders put into motion the beginning stages of an expected attack that aid agencies and even Israel's allies have warned against. Israeli strikes in Rafah reportedly killed at least 19 people overnight, while four Israeli soldiers were killed in a Hamas rocket attack near the Karim Shalom crossing. هذه الأثناء القصف المتواصل شرق مدينة رفح جنوب قطاع غزة هذا القصف لا يتوقف منذ الصباح هذه الأثناء تلقى قناة الإنارة في المناطق الشرقية لمحافظة الجنينة بالتحديد منطقة المشروط وحي الجنينة وفي شمال منطقة النصر